Hello there, thank you for joining me again today. I uh, just wanted to do an update video on the video I did a, about a year ago on the HP um, 8922H radio test set. This is a GSM cellular radio test set, but uh, as per the other video, which I'll put a link into the description of, which I did last year, um, this has the ability to be able to receive off air signals. And a friend of mine who's got a very similar radio test set has had nothing but trouble trying to get it to receive an off-air signal from the AUX RF input. Um, and it's basically a setting within the um, uh, radio test set on the squelch level for the FMD mod, which needs to be adjusted in the service setting, which I'll, I'll go into in a moment. And um, that DAC value is normally set to 1 or a higher level, which means that you've got to have hundreds of microvolts input on this um, connector before the FM demodulator circuit will um, unmute and demodulate the FM content of the carrier. So hence, if you're trying to receive, for example, an off-air signal by coupling the antenna into this port here and adjusting the spectrum analyzer or the CW uh, AF analyzer, uh, RF analyzer to pick up the off-air signal, it won't do that unless the signal is very strong coming in on here. Even though the spectrum analyzer can see it, which I'm going to show you in a moment, um, so basically the, the issue there is the FMD mod uh, that you can couple the audio to for the uh, AF analyzer to allow the volume from the speaker to be heard as basically not going to get any FMD mod uh, which is also available on this socket here it, it's not going to get that internally connected to the AF analyzer for you to hear it through the speaker until you're changing the service setting the DAC value for the uh, RCVR underscore FM underscore mute setting which I'm going to show you. Obviously this test set is mainly designed to have the option of the 82330E I think it is box at the bottom which I've got here in the workshop but for those that don't have that and have just got the basic test set I'm going to show you how to do that. So upon powering on the test set um, it'll just go through its boot up mode it'll flag up all sorts of errors saying that it hasn't got the add-on module for the PCS DCS uh, options there so we can get round that it doesn't matter what compatibility mode you're in or uh, what mode you're in GSM uh, EGSM whether you're in enhanced modes or not that's just immaterial at this stage so it'll come up with an error so you can just press uh, any key really to get round that now what we need to do um, it, when we normally set a signal on this we would normally go to CW measure so that would basically be going down to more um, and then from there we would be able to select let's have a look here turn the rotary knob um, so we get that going right the way down here we would normally be able to select more and then go to CWF analyzer and then we could select say a frequency um, I would select say a broadcast radio frequency but before that the RF in out which is this port here that needs to be set to this port which is the AUX RF in so we have to change that to um, the choices there which is AUX RF in then we need to set the frequency in this case I'm going to select uh, 97.3 megahertz which is BBC Radio 4 which is a local station to me the amplitude would need to be set down at about neg um, 57 dBm so I'm turning it counterclockwise so it increases the sensitivity now unfortunately the, the screen uh, is quite difficult to see regards to what I'm setting up but basically it's neg 57 dBm uh, until it won't go down any 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 lower than that okay so that's neg 57 dBm amplitude now we've got the frequency obviously set correctly the RF input is now selected to the highest sensitivity port which is the AUX RF in uh, and then we've got the amplitude and everything like that set correctly so it's maximum sensitivity uh, the AF analyzer in wants set in from scope to FMD mod so when I select there we've got the FM 
demod setting and then obviously if we turn the volume up in this case we'll hear um, nothing there because we're not receiving a, a signal that's high enough in level to break the mute and so I can now connect uh, what is a just a wire antenna into uh, the BNC part so we can now listen to that oh, it's like the right frequency 93.7 megahertz so we are receiving a broadcast signal there now what normally happens is on default on this test set is that uh, if I go back to here the default position on these test sets is where is it now it says service somewhere I can get to it I think it's under that and then more config and then yeah that config and then service so it's basically that you can press uh, cell CNTRL there go down to there select config and then you get service just here enter the service mode then you want antenna debt uh, you want the counter connection to say uh, audio whatever that says doesn't really matter to be honest with you what uh, what that says but it says audio one underscore count where it says here latch that CRT horizontal position that's what we're gonna change so what we do now we we go to our uh, rotary control and we select latch and this time we get a sequence of um, choices basically a, a long list of choices we need to keep, there's hundreds, about five, six hundred in there, so we need to keep turning this knob uh, clockwise until we get to RCVR, which is near the bottom of the list. So I'll just zoom in a bit more onto that. Um, so we'll just keep turning that until we get to RCVR. Now, what happens is, when we get to RCVR, FM uh, underscore mute uh, which is down here somewhere um, FM mute there we are look so it's it's receiver RCVR underscore FM underscore mute we select on that and then in here the value is set to 1 the latch now if we notice as well um, if we haven't got an antenna connected in this case because obviously uh, this this will just read dashes here but we need to set the value from 1 to 0 and what that does it allows the receiver on the test set the FM receiver to have an open mute because at the moment when I turn the volume up it's muted and the reason is is you need hundreds of microvolts going in here to lift the mute when that value in the latch is set to 1 okay so I've turned the volume up to maximum so watch what happens now when I set it to 0 uh, so I've set it to 0 now i just turn the volume down so what that's done is told the test set not to have any mute so now if we do preset because it's saved that setting now we can then go to uh, more for example you can go to spectrum analyzer or whatever but we can go to you can either set up all the measurement again in CWF analyzer or for example go to spectrum analyzer um, I can then go to uh, under main I can put the frequency in uh, in my case 93.7 megahertz I can then go to RFN and select this port here which is AUX RFN then we need to select the reference level here for the maximum sensitivity that we can afford 
so I'm going to turn that counterclockwise so it says neg 54 or neg 57 dvm and it won't go any further so we selected that there okay uh, it's very difficult on this screen with it being a CRT to be able to focus in but you can see it says neg 54 dbm now we're ready to connect our antenna um, up so we can see the signal so I've got a little bit of wire here I can just push in the socket and already we can see the uh, the, the carrier uh, I've left a span at 0 0.2 megahertz which is fine because this is a broadcast radio station now in order to demodulate the broadcast radio station in our case I'll listen off there we need to go to more from here CWAF analyzer and then in there we can set obviously all the parameters the same as what they were in the spectrum analyzer but when it says AF analyzer in there it says scope in you need to select that to be FM demodulated FMD mod okay now when we turn the volume up we can hear a signal now if you're listening to broadcast radio stations the uh, air filter 2 uh, needs to be set to uh, 99 kilohertz because obviously the bandwidth for the modulation is far wider than 15 kilohertz so that's set now to 99 kilohertz so we've got 50 hertz low high pass filter and a 99 kilohertz low pass filter for filter 2 and now we can we can hear the signal um, and likewise you know so you, that's what you can do with it anyway but now when you remove the aerial oh you get this white noise so that allows you to to listen to um, signals that are off air now which you couldn't do prior so that's just a little instructional on doing that I mean I can set that now to whatever frequency I want uh, 101.1 is classic FM for example so there we are that's how we can uh, we can do it so if you don't have that set properly in the service settings then uh, unfortunately it will uh, it will not receive a um, it will not demodulate an FM signal unless it's above about 150 microvolts once it's above 150 microvolts then the mute will open if that DAC value in the latch in service is set to anything greater than one so uh, my advice is to set it to zero so that's the end of the video um, because I've had some questions about this and I just wanted to clarify that position um, so and it will give other people confidence in in doing that measurement themselves so thank you for watching and uh, stay tuned for more videos thank you bye bye